thanks for coming back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my empties video. I don't do these monthly, I just kind of do them when I have a lot of things that I want to talk about. So it's come to that time and let's get into it. If you want to know what my empties are, then just keep watching. Let's start with the body care. Okay, so I have a hand soap here. This was the Ulta Beauty Hibiscus Punch. Foaming fresh hand soap with aloe and vitamin E. I like the Bath and Body Works soaps better. They didn't have anything good at Bath and Body Works during the summertime, so I just went to Ulta and grabbed a couple there. But it was nice. I'm very glad it's done. I did feel like it dried out my hands, even though it has aloe in it. Yeah, it was okay. It didn't really smell like anything towards the end, so... There's that. Now there's stuff all over my hands because that was dirty as heck. So I did finish a conditioner. This is the Herbal Essence. Oh, well, it's all wet. I finished up the Herbal Essence Naked Volume White Grapefruit and Mosa Mint Conditioner. That took me three tries to actually say all that. I love this. Um, I'm going to repurchase this forever. I don't think I'll ever switch to a new shampoo or conditioner. I also have the shampoo. For some reason, the shampoo is still kicking along there. But, uh, yeah, I really love the scent. I love the conditioner. It's less than $5. I, the only thing I wish is that it came in a bigger size. Maybe Amazon sells it for a bigger size. I will have to check that out because I absolutely love the shampoo and conditioner. My dad always compliments me on my hair smelling so good whenever I use that. I mean, that's, I don't it's kind of weird, I guess, that he says that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I did finish a facial cleanser by Garnier. These literally came out of my shower. There is like a tiny, tiny bit left. I can't pump any more out, and honestly, I'm just sick of this. It was definitely very gentle, but it was just boring. Like... It cleaned my skin, yada yada, made with green tea, it was a vegan formula, nothing special about it, I didn't really like the green part, like the green packaging anyway, but yeah, it was just meh, definitely not going to repurchase that. And the last body care item that I finished is a Ulta Beauty body wash, this is a tropical, this is a tropical fruit moisturizing body wash with shea butter, aloe, aloe, vitamins A, C, D. Packaging was super cute. This lasted me a good while. I did really like it. I do like it better than the Bath and Body Works, but the Ulta Beauty line does not have that many fall scents. So I skipped out on it for this season, but I do really like this and I probably would consider repurchasing that eventually. So the next item I have is a wallflower. I honestly forget what scent this was. Let me see if I can try to remember. Well, I forget, but it's a finished wallflower, so there's that. <laughs> I also finished up a micellar water, and I'm kind of missing this a little bit. So this is the Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Cleansing Water by Neutrogena. Apparently it's new. I never know with drugstore, but... The one that I'm using now I don't like. This is the L'Oreal Micellar Cleanser Water. Complete cleanser, removes makeup, clean syrup, blah, blah, blah. This one does a way better job than this one. This is just not doing it for me. It's taken me a while to get through it, as you can see. I just really don't like it. I would definitely not repurchase this one. This one, however, does have a really strong chemical scent that I did not appreciate. I got past it because it did wipe off all of my makeup with a makeup eraser. So I would consider repurchasing it, but I just hated that it smelt so bad. It was kind of annoying. So now we're moving on to the makeup. Nope, not yet. Another item that I finished are some Neutrogena, ma Neutrogena makeup wipes. So these are my favorite makeup wipes in the world. Um, I'll always have these on hand. I like to use them when I run out of my cellar water um, and can't use my makeup wipes, my makeup um, erasers. And I do believe it's one easy step. It does say that on the back. And yeah, I just, I really like these. These are my standard ones. Everybody always says like the elf ones are their favorite. Nah, these are the way to go. 
you can find them for cheap, like $4.99, so I really like those. Alright, now we're moving on to some makeup. Good, good lord, that took forever. Let's start with eyebrows. Whoop. Let's start with eyebrows. I have here two of my favorite L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Pencils. I like these the best because number one, it has a spoolie on the other side and the uh, applicator part, I guess, is a triangular angle shape and it makes it literally, it takes you like four to five strokes of filling in your brow. It is that creamy, that pigmented, and that easy to control. I love it. It saves my brow routine 10 extra minutes at least. So um, I like to always have one on backup. However, this time around I did want to try something else, so I did pick up something else. But this is like my holy grail. If I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pick up one of these type of things. Really recommend. Unfortunately, L'Oreal is not cruelty free, but... What can you do? So, there's that. And speaking of brow products, I did finish up a brow gal brow gel. I cannot believe I actually said that right. That's amazing. Um, I really, really liked this um, brow product. I finished it rather quickly. I, I just loved the formula. It was a pretty thin formula. The brush is really thin too. And the color was a little bit lighter than my brow hairs, however, that did not affect the actual color, which I liked. This is $24, and I don't know where you can get it, um, but if I do see it again, I would definitely repurchase this. And some mascaras. I have here the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This dries up so quickly on me. I do really like it, but I feel like I go through this mascara so so quickly and it does have a slight coconut scent so if you don't like that steer clear of this one this one also kind of has this, a slight coconutty scent so I don't know what's with mascaras and having coconutty scents this one I could honestly probably use a couple more times but it's getting really clumpy and annoying to use so I'm tossing it and I didn't really care for it that much I mean it gave good volume but like the wand is kind of like on the bigger side actually like when you put it up to my eye I feel like it is very very big and annoying to like wiggle onto your lashes like I'm not about that life so I would not repurchase this one probably wouldn't repurchase this one unfortunately because it dries out just so quickly my favorite mascaras are from Essence if that tells you anything so next, I have another eye product here. This is a Urban Decay little tiny baby eyeliner. I miss this guy so much. Um, it was such a good dark brown. Like, look at how dark brown that is. I mean, it's just a standard dark brown Urban Decay liner in the shade Smoke Out. But I really, really liked it. I wear pencil liners and Urban Decay liners probably all the time. Every single day, probably. I could get rid of all my liners, which I kind of... I'm working that out right now and just have Urban Decay liners. That's how much I love them. So they're worth it in my opinion. I know it's like $24 for a like pencil pretty much, but in my eyes, they're the best pencil ever. So now moving on to face products. I have two primers here. This was the never ending Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. I really, really loved this. I could probably still scrape some out, but honestly, I don't like wiping this thing all over my face, which is how I used to apply it. I do have a spatula, and you can definitely see that I scraped as much as I could out, uh, but it's just time. I really like this. I forget how much this is, but it was totally worth it. I wore this as a primer, not as a highlighter. I just didn't like the formula for highlighter. It was too, like, emollient, is that the word? Uh, and, like, liquidy to stay on my skin on top of foundation. But under foundation, it was very, very, very nice. Canoe actually just gave me Moonstone in this same formula. So I'm so excited about that one. But I gotta finish off some primers before opening that. But, now moving on to face products. 
I have a L'Oreal, oh, that's a contact stuck to it. I have a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I go through these so quickly. They're so moisturizing. They are my perfect color. They're actually not my perfect color. They're, they might be a tad light, but I like to wear this in the summertime and then bronze. And oh, it's just so good. It's like an air light formula, medium coverage, 24 hour wear, and it's a radiant finish. That's exactly what it says on the back, and I totally agree with every one of those claims. Love, love, love will always be a holy grail in my eyes. Another primer, I don't know why I skipped this one. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. I like this. I thought it was very moisturizing. However, I like other ones better. There literally was nothing, I don't have anything negative to say about this one. I just like other ones better. So, like the Becca one, I like a lot better. This one is way more radiant than this one. This is more like a champagne color. This is more like a white glowy primer and it's really, really nice on the skin. I have two more face products and then we are done. I have here the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I liked the square packaging of it. I thought that was a nice touch. I like the Dofa applicator. However, the formula was very, very, very drying for my under eyes. It made them look so creasy and cakey and just not attractive. Even with powder on it, I felt like it was super dry, so I would not repurchase this. And I heard the foundation was pretty good, but this formula being so dry kind of scares me. And I don't know if I want to try that foundation. But this I definitely would not repurchase. The last empty I have is the e.l.f. translucent powder. It's called the Perfect Finish HD Powder. This is what it looks like. I do have like a slight rim around it, but I'm done trying to scrape the edge. It's just really annoying. I loved this powder. Actually, as a pressed powder, this is probably one of my favorite pressed powders. I like that it's translucent. I don't do yellow banana e powders. I don't think it looks good under my eyes. I think it just looks weird if it's not translucent. So this was like $6 and I would totally, totally get it again. I'm kind of missing the formula. The only thing I will say is that like there's not a lot of product in there. If you can see, there's only 0.28 products. I'm sorry, 0.28 ounces, which is kind of a lot, but I use powder every day, so it doesn't really feel like a lot in this. So, those are all my empties. I really hope you guys liked it. I haven't done an empties video in eh, maybe three months or so, so I thought it was time. What have you finished this month? Let me know down below, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!